This is the Diplomatic Encounter, a program which shows issues to do with international relations. I am Danai. In today's program, we are going to cover quite a range of issues. And to start with, we are visiting the Swedish Embassy, which is exhibiting pictures of the anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights is an international document that states basic rights and fundamental freedoms to which all human beings are entitled. The Universal Declaration was adopted by the General Assembly of the United Nations on 10 December 1948. The Universal Declaration begins by recognizing that the inherent dignity of all members of the human family is the foundation of freedom justice and peace in the world. It declares that human rights are universal to be enjoyed by all people, no matter who they are or where they live. The Universal Declaration includes civil and political rights, like the right to life, liberty, free speech and privacy. It also includes economic, social and cultural rights, like the right to social security, health and education. So with this exhibition, we want to celebrate the anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that is turning 70 years uh, this year. This is a universal document that was um, agreed to and also elaborated by uh, representatives from all uh, regions and all nations throughout the world. So it's a, it's a unique document in the sense that it's uh, uh, aspiration and a standard of achievement for all peoples and all nations and we Sweden, Zimbabwe, all countries in the world uh, should strive to realize those rights that are enshrined in this declaration. So what we want to do with the exhibition is that we want to celebrate the anniversary of this um, uh, global unique document but we also want to show how we as Sweden are working with the implementation of those rights here in Zimbabwe. So in the exhibition, we showcase work that we do in relation to uh, uh, education of children, for example, or uh, the right for everyone to found a family. And those uh, rights that we are all, um, that are so important for all of us in our daily lives. So uh, Zimbabwe is an amazing country with amazing people. And uh, throughout my time here, I have seen a lot of good work being carried forward by the organization that we work with. Of course, uh, the Zimbabwe is now going through an historic time with this new dispensation and I think uh, there is a lot of potential and, and a great opportunity to uh, together work towards the full realization of all those rights in Zimbabwe. And I look forward to continue to do that during... Now we ask the ambassador when the exhibition is going to end and how has been the response so far? It will run uh, at least uh, towards the end of the year. The Universal Declaration was adopted on 10th of December, so it might be that we uh, keep it up to then. But we're also going to show it in Bulawayo and possibly in other places of the country. So, uh, so this is a message we want to carry forward throughout this, this year. Yeah, a lot of uh, attention and excitement and people are happy. Uh, what I think is uh, very amazing is that people learn new things. A uh, man came uh, up to me the other day and said that he didn't know that there was a right to marriage in the Universal Declaration, so he was immediately going to propose to his girlfriend. So I think uh, it's, uh, it's very nice, a lot of positive uh, reactions and, and, uh, and interest. So I would encourage everyone to come and see this exhibition. It's uh, outside the walls of the Swedish Embassy here on Aberdeen Road in Harare. So most welcome, all of you. The Universal Declaration is an aspiration uh, towards a standard that pertains to all of us, Sweden as well as Zimbabwe. And I think it's important to, uh, to underline that there are challenges everywhere in the world when it comes to the implementation of those human rights. And we should work together to realize them uh, to the best extent that we can. Here in Zimbabwe, uh, Sweden, we work in particular with the rights of women and with the rights of children. That are two issues that are very important to us in our foreign policy. But of course, the situation is, is different in all countries of the world. And I think we have to, uh, we have to work together towards the um, realization of those rights. The Universal Declaration is not a treaty, so it does not directly create legal obligations for countries. 
However, it is an expression of fundamental values which are shared by all members of the international community. And it has had a profound influence on the development of international human rights law. The ambassador also highlighted that Sweden and the Zimbabwean government and the civil society is working together in promoting issues to do with human rights and bilateral relations between the two countries. There is definitely great potential in this country in all uh, fields of society. And uh, Sweden look forward to work together with all Zimbabweans to realize that potential. And as you mentioned, yes, just last week we had a visiting delegation from the Swedish parliament where we looked into some of the projects that we support here and talked about how we can develop our engagement further. So um, there's a lot of uh, great potential to be realized. And this is your message to the people of Zimbabwe as we celebrate our independence. My message for the Zimbabwean people is to uh, fully, um, uh, fully uh, utilize all the possibilities that uh, we have right now to realize the great potential of this country when it comes to economic development, but also when it comes to the realization of human rights. And Sweden is uh, ready to assist the Zimbabwean people in this, and, and I look very much forward to continue to to continue my work here. Come and enjoy this fantastic exhibition on uh, human rights that is hanging on the outside walls of the Swedish Embassy here on Aberdeen Road in uh, Harare. Warmly welcome. This has been the Diplomatic Encounter. Hope you enjoy the show. Please do join us next week again, same time. For more details, visit our Facebook page, that is The Diplomat Zimbabwe. Or you can watch our YouTube channel, the Diplomatic Encounter Zimbabwe. Or you can WhatsApp us on 0718-438-270. Or you can call us on 0772-692-915. From me and the crew behind the scene, it's goodbye. <music>